By default, your web address is what you named your website when you first set it up in Website Builder with GoDaddySites.com at the end of it. So for example, if you named your site That 70s Restaurant, then your web address will show as that 70s restaurant.godaddysites.com or some variation of that if that exact domain name is already taken. I'm Emily and I'm going to show you how to update that free domain to your own custom domain. There are a couple of different ways to change the website's domain. I'll show you both. We're starting this demo in Website Builder. The first way to update the domain is to choose the Use My Domain link in the preview window, which shows next to your current domain right here. The second way to update the domain is to go into your settings and choose manage next to your domain. Let's check it out. The domain settings window displays. At this point, you have three options. You can choose a domain you've purchased by selecting the choose a domain link. You can click the get a new domain link, or you can use the free GoDaddy URL that was assigned when you created your website. For this demonstration, we're going to use a domain that we have available, so we'll check the Choose a Domain link. It's as easy as choosing the domain from the list. If you choose to use an external domain, you'll have to go to that external domain provider and change the IP address associated with that domain's A record. You can always ask that company for help if you need it. When you have the domain you want, it's as easy as clicking Save or Save and Publish. Once you publish, if you use an existing GoDaddy domain, your site should be live and searchable on the web. If you use an external domain, it can take up to 72 hours before you see it live. I'm Emily, see you next time.